So this is taken from the insider liner notes of a DVD called By Brackage. It's written by Fred Camper. Stan Brackage's films explode with sensual beauty, bursts of color heightened by extreme contrast in hue and shape and by stunning depth effects. More monochromatic passages of nonetheless equal intensity that sensitize one to the glories of tiny differences, nearly flat, slowly changing fields of color that wave like blankets in the wind, only to be interrupted by a cut that opens up a vast space. Rapid explosions of paint that seem just on the cusp of suggesting a nameable object. The viewer is taken through such complexities of experience that the effect is a little like having one's eyes flushed out. But the work generally doesn't aspire to what is often meant by purity. Instead, it's chock full of the conflicting emotions and general messiness of life itself. The montage of Dogstar Man, which juxtaposes its characters, principally Brackage himself, with imagery of blood vessels and the sun, the forest and the stars, family and architecture, and explicitly erotic imagery evokes numerous associations from the banal to the sublime. Layers of faces and rocks and paint on film combine in multiple superimpositions, ultimately building to a meditation on one man's place in the cosmos that can be read apart from its hint of a plot as a light poem. The following is from Wikipedia. James Stanley Brackage, better known as Stan Brackage, was an American filmmaker. He is considered to be one of the most important figures in 20th century experimental film. Over the course of five decades, Brackage created a large and diverse body of work, exploring a variety of formats, approaches, and techniques that included handheld camera work, painting directly onto celluloid, fast cutting, in-camera editing, scratching on film, collage film, and the use of multiple exposures. Interested in mythology and inspired by music, poetry, and visual phenomena, Brackage sought to reveal the universal, in particular exploring themes of birth, mortality, sexuality, and innocence. His films are for the most part silent. Brackage's films are often noted for the expressiveness and lyricism. While they were for many years obscure and hard to find, many are now readily available on DVD as well as other media. Born Robert Sanders in Kansas City, Missouri on January 14, 1933, Brackage was adopted and renamed three weeks after his birth by Ludwig and Clara Brackage. He was raised in Denver, Colorado where he attended South High School with